Hi, good evening everyone, it's Ryan here again, I haven't been around for a while, so I had a request from one of the YouTube view, uh, viewers who said that they would like to please see how to set up a copier from MT4 to MT5, so I thought I would just uh, capture this video tonight, so let's go with it. Um, so we're going to open a MT4 account here, and MT5, or the broker should I say. So we'll just wait for the two broker accounts to open up, and you'll see I've just loaded um, both the MT4 and the MT5 account there. So what I'll do is, this is what it's going to look like, um, and you'll see what I've done here as I've set up the two accounts here. I've done a the whole setup, and what I'm going to do quickly is just show you that it all works, and we're just going to do a sell by market here, and we're going to see that that trade was actually uh, copied across, and then you'll see here, when I close this on the MT4, it will close on the MT5 as well. So I'm going to go through the actual whole setup and how I've done it. And then you can see for yourself or you can follow with me. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to this website here, fxblue.com. And what you want to do is you want to go across to here to the apps um, section yet yeah, not the trade mirror because the trade mirror will be something different where you are uh, copying from one machine to another machine so that's a separate machine whereas this one is going to be for the same machine copying on one machine okay so what you want to do is you want to scroll down here to the fx blue personal trade copier for mt4 but there isn't the one for mt5 even though it says here MT4 and MT5. So what you're going to do is you click on the more info and then you'll see that this one here is for the MT4 and then scroll down here um, where's the other one it, if you go to the free download I believe where was it here there it is so you see that it says here there's also a version for MT5 which you would click on there and then you would download this um, software from the site here so i'm not going to download it um, myself because i've already installed it um, so what i will do is i'll just quickly go into here so what you would have to do is you log into the site here um, and then what you do is once you've logged in or registered um, it'll allow you to continue okay and then now what you'll have to do is you'll do the free download okay and then what you could do is you could follow the instructions and that gives you the user done guide here you'll see that it's actually installed here okay so what you do is you follow that process and i can record another video about how to install it but what i wanted to do is just uh, do the setup on how these two work so once it is installed uh, you've got the receiver and the sender and you've got the same thing on here on your MT5 here, you'll have the, let's quickly make this a bit big, and let's pull this up a bit, and you'll see here, you've got the receiver, and you've got the sender here. So you could do both ways, you could do copying from an MT4 count to MT5, or from an MT5 to an MT4 count. Okay, this is most helpful for those brokers or the EAs or other accounts where they don't um, either support the MT5 or either they don't support the MT4. So that's where this would be very helpful. Okay, so once you have installed it, let's just close this one out and we'll close this here. So what you can do is you can take, uh, pull up any of the charts. If we right click on select any pair, click on uh, chart window and make this nice and big. And then what you want to do is you want to be the sender from the MT4 account. You drag it onto the chart. And what you do is you want to call it any kind of channel name that you want. So let's call it uh, TCMT5. So trade copier MT5. And that will be fine there. Make sure in the about is fine. In the comment, you'd need to allow DLL imports clicked on. Also, 
the modifications and make sure that a live um, allow live trading is also ticked okay the only other thing that you need to set here i'm just trying to check if there is anything here is um just checking here you can change the color if you want um you'll see in a minute where the different colors but the rest you can actually leave as is it's all basically default it will um, trade as is okay so that's the blue background which you can change in the color setting if you want you'll see that it says that heartbeat is sent at that time and that heartbeat basically means is that it's sending a connection signal from the one account to the other okay so if we go here um, i previously set this up so again we will just click on any pair doesn't matter what pair you actually got and you click on the chart window double click on that same thing here as you um, you have to left click on that receiver drag it onto the chart anywhere let go and then the only difference is here in the mt5 is that you've got to click on the allowed deal here so it looks a bit different come back to the imports in a minute or the inputs and then you've got to click them allow modifications the signal settings on that side okay so the mt5 settings here this will be very similar to the mt4 as well so we're going to say mtc trade copier mt5 we said so that channel has to match up otherwise it won't uh, copy from one to the other um, interesting you can also have as i think it's about four or five certainly that i've tested but if you want to do copy to um, more than one channel all you do is just put a comma there and say like let's say mt5 um, which trade we could just leave it as uh, mt6 for example mt7 whatever you wanted to put in there and you press enter and it would trade to that okay but you wouldn't put on this side you would put it on to the sender of where you're sending it to but i'll go back in a minute and we'll go through that okay the only thing that you would need to change here um, is you can scroll halfway down and you'll see here it says round up to the broker minimum all you'd have to do is change that to true basically what that's saying is that if the amount that it's sending from the test trade from the mt4 count um, that lot size if it sends it and to this mt5 and it doesn't have the correct value it won't take a trade so it has to be um, set to true okay click on ok and you'll see that now you've got mt tc mt5 and if you let's just minimize that and you'll see mt mt5 as well same channel and you'll see that there's a heartbeat between the two so also make sure that you've got the auto or the algo trading as uh, enabled so there you can see it says enable it and the same thing for the other one here if you have this off it's also not going to work so for example here if we click on new order and I sell by market you see that this trade is taken but not this one which should that's interesting it may well have been I'm not sure why that is the case it should actually have not taken the trade that's very interesting I haven't seen that before but basically you see now that when I've clicked on that um, you'll see that the trade gets cancelled out and you'll see on the mt5 um, that that trade also gets taken out but that's interesting about the auto trader which i hadn't seen before because most times i've had a problem with that or in fact all the times i've had a problem with that previously so that's really how easy it is to set up the mt4 to mt5 um, if i just follow it from the side um, let me just make this a bit smaller from the side you can actually see how in live um, i'll take a trade so we're taking new order 
and sell by market and straight away you saw that it's copied across to the MT5 account here and the same thing here is that when you close this account here it automatically closes on the MT5 however if it's if you do it the opposite way around and you take the trade here and you close it on MT5 obviously you can make sure that that's ticked to make sure that you got one tick uh, one click trading enabled and if you close it here notice that this MT4 is still running because it doesn't backwards copy across it's only from the MT4 that it actually copies across so now I'll have to close this trade here so again if I had to create a new order from USDJ for example and abide by that it'll do it that way and you'll close and that'll work but that's really it so yeah so hopefully that helps you understand how easy it is just to set up um, mt4 to mt5 um, from any really any broker um, it doesn't really matter um, I'll show you in the next video about how to install the software and then you can see how easy it is to put it onto any machine also if you need to have multiple brokers on the same account say for example you wanted to have Hugo's one two three four I have got a video about that so you can copy between um, MT4 accounts or between MT5 accounts but I hadn't got a video about these so yes hopefully that helps if you have any questions just um, get back to me and I'll certainly help you out okay take care then bye